Hello there, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Pisces, we are looking into this week of August 16th to the 22nd. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and check out your other chart placements on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Pisces, welcome back. <clears throat> and thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Pisces out there. <clears throat> Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So my fellow Pisces, let's get started and let's get into it. We are getting you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, phone numbers, basically wherever you see digits. So here we go, Pisces. Your number is number seven. I am brilliant. All right, Pisces, you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. All right, so that little interpretation is definitely all in Piscean energy. So, Pisces, you are one of the zodiac signs that, you know, when mysteries present themselves, when change in life presents itself, Pisces, you are one of the few zodiac signs that kind of accept this change like head on. Accept the mystery head on. You are ruled by the 12th house, so that is probably a lot of the reason why. Mystery is something that you know is always going to be around. And Pisces, you're somebody that doesn't fear the mystery as much as other people. Doesn't mean that you have no fear. Um, but you're interested in uncovering it. Even if it does bother you, you, you just have this curiosity to know what's down that road, what's through that door. You're somebody who feels the urge to uncover them, and you can also acquire knowledge from whatever you uncover, whether it's good or bad. You are able to take what comes and use that energy to your advantage. So let's see what else comes through for you here, Pisces. Some of you could have been born on the 7th. doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. So we have here Moon and Capricorn, card 22, Accomplishment. All right. May have been seeing a lot of twos as well. This card says, Scale mountains to gain a sense of achievement. All right, so you are feeling accomplished about something this week, Pisces, and you're also coming in with I am brilliant. So it seems like it's a beautiful week for you right away. Uh, maybe seeing a lot of sevens or twos here. You could have Capricorn in your chart, or some of you may have a Capricorn around you. doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But let's see what angel is with you here this week, my beautiful Pisces. All right, Pisces, so you have the inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. Pisces, you would get this card. And then this card says, your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. All right, so Pisces, you definitely have... Um, do you know that not everybody has a voice inside their head? I mean, I'm a Pisces, I have a voice inside my head, and I'm pretty, pretty sure every Pisces has a voice inside their head, but there are some people who actually have no voice inside their head. I can't believe that. I'm like, how do y'all come up? What do, you, what do you do up there then? So anyways, nonetheless, your inner voice is definitely speaking to you very strongly here. Um, you are definitely receiving a lot of spiritual downloads and you are definitely gaining a greater awareness about life, about where you're headed. Let's get you another angel and see what else is coming in. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. All right. So your inner voice 
is guiding you. Your inner voice has been giving you signs. Your It's almost like this week, Pisces, your inner voice is going to match your physical life. So that's pretty interesting. Things are going to happen in synchronicity for you this week. I mean, they always do, but Spirit is indicating something specific. They've been guiding you in a certain way, and now the week has come for their guidance to take place, whatever they've been guiding you about, to take place in the physical. So, interesting. Some of you may have been trying to manifest something with your inner voice, and now it's finally coming into the physical, hence the energy of the moon and Capricorn. Capricorn, Earth, physical energy, and receiving an accomplishment. So there may have been something that you have been trying to affirm or manifest for yourself that is finally taking form in your reality. And you will be getting signs about it. So let's see what your astrology is here, my beautiful Pisces. You're definitely having a sense of accomplishment. So, underneath this number seven is eighth house. Obsession, death, investments, intimacy, and secrets. Eighth house ruled by Scorpio. Underneath this moon in Capricorn, we have rising sign, ascendant, essence, aura, and image. And underneath your angels, we have Pluto, also ruled by Scorpio. Transformation, cycles, death, rebirth, and evolve. All right, so you have double Scorpio energy here. Um, your rising sign may be Scorpio for some of you. It doesn't have to be. I'm just throwing that out there because of the way the cards came out. All right, so Pisces, something is changing for you very, very, very big here. And Spirit has been telling you about this change for quite some time. I feel like for some of you Pisces, you were uncertain whether you were listening to your inner voice or your fears. But it looks like it's a good change because it's making you feel really good about yourself and it's making you feel accomplished in a certain aspect of your life. So Spirit has been guiding you in a certain direction and it seems like this week you're understanding what's going on here. And Pisces, you are somebody who receives messages and dreams and like I feel like Pisces we receive the messages in like the weirdest ways dreams um visions randomly hearing stuff in our head um so there is a sense of transformation here there's also a sense of death to old ways so it may be death to your old ways, um, death to friendships old ways, death to a lover's old ways, but there is an ending here. But this ending brings a sense of accomplishment. So I feel like for some of you, there is an ending of the way things used to be with you and a lover, which is bringing you a sense of accomplishment because you've been wanting this. The ending of the way things used to be with your money because you wanted this energy to change or the ending of some sort of dynamic in work in love in friendships in family there was a dynamic that you were sitting in with someone for a very long time and it is finally shifting so let's get some tarot on this the only the the word we have here twice is death um, so some of you Pisces may have recently lost someone as well to death. Could be anybody, honestly. Let's clarify this. And it's not like their, their loss brings you a sense of accomplishment. Don't put that like that. No. I'm just saying that that may be um, a message for someone. I lost someone, so it resonates with me. So let's clarify this here. For some of you as well, this person's passing on is helping you. Um, like they're able to help you. They may be your inner voice here. Some of you, you may feel like you can hear them in your head. All right. Let's clarify this. On the eighth house, we have, hello, 
the Emperor. Some of you could have lost a father figure. On Ascendant, we have the Five of Swords. And on Pluto, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so that's just a random message. Like I said, some of you definitely could have lost a father figure of some sort. Um, that may be who your inner voice is or the person that's been trying to talk to you. Um, but that's just like a um, an out there message that is only for certain some of you. Anyways, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. In terms of love, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very hard to read. I feel like you want more compliments from this person or you want more like flirtatious energy. Like you don't want to lose the honeymoon stage with this person. But whoever you have been connecting with has been very stubborn or they like to be in control of themselves. Um, they're just very hard to read. So if you are in a relationship or have been connecting to somebody Pisces, they've just been hard to read. And I feel like you want um, to be admired by this person. You want to feel adored by this person. That's what I feel like it is. And I feel like your person is finally Page of Wands coming in with some good, enthusiastic energy. Page of Wands is an energy of good news. So I feel like your person is becoming more flirtatious, more complimentive towards you, more admiring towards you, more expressive towards you. And with the Five of Swords here, I feel like, Pisces, you've been wanting this for a while with the Five of Swords on the rising sign. So if this has to do with love, that is definitely a sense of accomplishment. Your person is finally seeing your brilliance. They have seen it, though. They just didn't know how to... Um, give you that satisfaction, give you that attention, give you that reassurance, or give you that recognition of how amazing you are. So your person is coming through very, very attentive to you this week, where in the past, I feel like you were kind of vying for their attention. Not that like you were begging for it, but you may have dressed a certain way for them to compliment you. Maybe you did your hair a certain way to get a compliment, whatever the case may be. So if you are not in a relationship here, Pisces, and you are single, I definitely see you um, receiving some sort of reach out from someone. Five of Swords, this definitely could be somebody that you wanted to notice you. And when you wanted them to notice you, they didn't, but now they're noticing you now. That's basically the energy that I get from this. If it's love, no matter what your status is, it's like you wanted to feel noticed and seen by this person and they weren't giving it to you, but now they finally are. So this could be a newer person that you've been wanting to notice you, could be a past person that you've been wanting to notice you, but they are finally noticing you here. They're finally um, initiating something or initiating more flirtations energy with you, more um, admiration energy towards you, and making you feel beautiful, really. Definitely complimentive. And a lot of you, you look at this as accomplishment because you're like, finally, Pisces, we are an energy that wants to be and feel loved. We rule with our emotions, so we want to feel loved. Yes, yeah, somebody may tell you, well, why do you need to hear it? Well, it's always good. I need words of affirmation. I need to feel it. And I also need the affection. So for some of you Pisces, you are in that position and you're finally getting it from somebody or you're finally getting it from this person. For others of you Pisces, I do feel like you may be receiving some sort of good news from work. Your boss-like figure may be telling you something that you are very, very um, happy with hearing. Um, you may have felt... Okay, there is something here, Pisces, where Emperor, Five of Swords, and the Page of Wands, you felt like something wasn't going to go in your favor, and then this week it does. So there is good news coming in for you, no matter what your story is or what you're resonating here with. So let's clarify. It's either good news with love, your person finally showing you that love, showing you that um, affection, that admiration. For others of you, this is receiving good news from someone that you didn't think you would receive it from. So whoever this person is here at coming in as the emperor, they are, you view them as higher up from you. So either they're a boss, um, a father figure, a owner, a landlord, um, a CEO, whoever. You look at them as higher up than you and it's almost like you feel like they're going to let you down about something but it actually is going to go your way. 
So it's an extreme sense of good news. So let's clarify this here for you Pisces. The Emperor Aries energy. We have um, air. We have fire. We have double Scorpio. On the Emperor, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some fears around this person or thinking the worst with this person. Five of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Yeah. There is an... Ex oh, Pisces. You... Hold on. Page of Wands with the King of Swords. Okay. So, Pisces, I don't know... I'm going to talk about love first. You really, really, really couldn't read this person for nothing. Sometimes they maybe act lovable. Sometimes they didn't. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. You felt almost like this person would never be adoring to you. Like, you just wanted those words of affirmation. That's what I feel. And I feel like they're words of affirmation. For some of you, it's actually that physical affection. Um, for some of you, it's both. You want more from this person. And with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here, with the King of Swords, you are actually going to get it. And for a lot of you, Pisces, you felt like you weren't. For some of you, you were close to giving up on this person because of their lack of admiration towards you. Um, there was a sense here that you are thinking the worst about a situation, basically. The, the whole gist of this reading is no matter if you're resonating with the higher up figure to you or the lover, you were thinking the worst about this. You were preparing for the worst. But there is an energy of good news. So whatever you were preparing for the worst to hear or to happen, you, I, I don't know a good way to say this. I, I can't think of a nice way to say it. So I don't want you all to think I'm being like rude or mean or anything like that. But I am a Pisces and I've done this to myself. Some of you were lying to yourself, staying in the pessimistic attitude about this. So you having worst case scenario, they will never show me love. They will never flirt with me. They'll never compliment me. They'll never adore me in the way that I want to be adored. Or this person will never give me what I want. They'll never listen to my ideas. Um, they'll never be on my side. You're going to be a little bit surprised. Let's clarify this again, Pisces. Because something that you thought wasn't going to be for you is going to bring you a sense of accomplishment. So that means it happens for you. So, Nine of Wands with the Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords with the Four of Cups. King of Swords with the Hanged Man. Yeah, Pisces, you are very, very stuck. You look at this person as just like... Um, I don't know if you're fearful of them or what. Let's clarify this again. There is something that you want from this person, but you don't want to be ignored anymore. So either this is love and you have been asking for this person to love you better and love you more. And you're just kind of like, all right, how many times do I have to ask? When are you finally going to make that shift on your own? The hangman, king of swords here. So for some of you Pisces, you've been f sounding like a broken record with love. And this week they are finally showing you that admiration energy. For others of you, I don't know if you want something from a, a father figure, a boss, a landlord, a whomever. And you fear asking for it because you feel like they're going to reject you or what. Ten of Wands, right? You're going to put down the burden of uh, of it. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. There you go. So something is going to go better than you expect it to go, basically. Whether it's love, work, family, friends, some sort of 
financial situation, some sort of um, stable situation here, it's actually going to go a lot better than you think it is. Either someone is giving you a way out who is another person, or this person actually does, like, if this doesn't have to do with love, if this has to do with work, family, finances, or, like, your, your, your living situation, either this person surprises you or somebody else comes in to help you. Um, and for others of you, Pisces, with love, you really thought you were going to have to leave this person. You were like, if I need to ask for them to love me or to show me love one more time, but you're going to be surprised. So, speaking of love, we are now going to be getting you some love um, energy specifically and close out your reading. It ran a bit long here. Um, we have specifically Aries and Pisces energy. We have earth, we have water, we have fire, we have air. We really got everybody. So let's look into love specifically for you here, Pisces. We have mute. Yep. We have mirroring. Yep. And we have release. Thank God. Okay, yeah. So whoever you were, whoever you have been connecting with, like I said, I'm not going to keep repeating that message. You wanted more from them. They were just mirroring you. They weren't giving you what you were desiring. They weren't loving you or giving you those words of affirmation. Definitely words of affirmation for a lot of you with that mute card. Right on target with that, wasn't I? So let's clarify this once more. We have mute with patience, so they are going to be more talkative, more expressive, more complimentive. Mirroring with fear, so there probably was a fear of being vulnerable that they had on their end. And release with admired, there you go, I told you. Showing you more affection, showing you more attention, really showing you how much they adore you and not feeling fearful about it anymore. Wow, look at that Pisces, right on target with that love message that I gave y'all for this reading. We're going to clarify this and one more time and close your reading. We have patience with abandoned. Yup, a lot of you Pisces, like I said, you're like, if I need to tell this person how to love me or what I want from love one more time, you were on the verge. You were on edge for sure. Fear with cycle. So a new cycle is birth. Admired with dark night of the soul. Yeah, Pisces. You were struggling with this person's lack of love. And you were struggling so heavily that you were about to leave this person. Or you were thinking about it. You were thinking about it. Um... But now you're finally receiving that admiration energy. And now you're facing your dark night of the soul energy. The dark night of the soul that you were feeling was, why do I feel like I need this person's attention? Why do I feel like I need this person's love? Why am I so bothered by the fact that they don't show me love? That's dark night of the soul. Let's clarify that. Release, admired, and dark night of the soul. And with the fact that release being on that, that's why you're finally releasing that energy of why can't they love me in this way? Why can't they admire me? Why can't they show me they care? They finally are, so you're able to release that energy. Definitely could have been a struggle. Fifth dimension. Your inner voice has been telling you that this energy was happening. So for some of you, you were getting um, some sort of message from spirit that your person was going to love you better. Or you maybe saw something or had a dream or heard a message in your head that like your person was going to show you more love or show you more admiration energy. But pretty, pretty interesting reading here for you, Pisces. This is what I have here for you this week. Please do not forget to like this video. I cannot believe how long this is. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.